using this thing on your web is actually pretty straightforward okay but now the really cool thing about Zappo is the fact that it doesn't assume that you're gonna be on the web you're gonna be using the way they define this API here it from your SDK it completely ignores whatever was here okay it doesn't assume like oh this is how you're gonna build your API and this is how you're gonna make calls to that API no from here you deal with it however you want to deal with it from your website so the javascript sdk is completely different it handles payments without making calls to the way you defined your api which is i think it's kind of cool actually um okay so what we're gonna do directory yes let's call zeppa wb and cd to zeppa wb and we're gonna touch index.html so this is how you use it with npm you just install it with yarn never used yarn before but we're gonna use the cdn because we're just making like a basic uh, web page um so if i bring up my vs code here we do that and we'll just make this zipper and we, oh, we don't need to do a script file so we put that there okay so we have we have Zappo on our website and we just do like a script where we're gonna write our thing okay so that was that and we're just gonna put this uh, so um, class uh, container we can even bring like bootstrap in, into the show but it's fine div class pay cool so uh, we have that and then we do next so you could use a widget or you could use a zapper code and the zapper code is basically just the qr code okay so the cool thing the cool thing about the the payment widget is the fact that it is real time so it it, it so if the user scans this it tells them hey something is going on um so this is how you create the widget so we're just gonna copy that bad boy and we're gonna bring this over here and we're just gonna paste it yeah, the constructor is the html element and zapper options right so it could be an element or it could be a css selector so in this case it is a css selector so it's a class pay so it's a dot pay so it will render that in there inside this um and then what you pass to it basically is you pass your merchant id and this is my site id and you paying um so from the web this is not in sense this is an actual value so if i do 12.99 right and let's say the reference is web my r 001 I'm going to do this. Okay, so it's rendered here and it's from me. So what machine dev test, that's actually the name of my merchant. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is on payment. So this, um, so this is an event uh, that gets triggered. And basically what they're doing is just they consoling that information from here. So what we'll do is we'll console log uh the status and we'll console log the zappa id okay cool so let's run this and let's open okay so i am gonna scan this with my phone so as i said before this is real time so i've scanned it now and once I click pay, you should say I'm doing something. So it's processing the payment, processing, processing. Your transaction was declined. It's saying, please contact Zappa from my phone. Okay, so that doesn't matter. What we'll do is we'll take this reference here. So this is my reference. So I'll copy this. And I'll go to Insomnia and I'll put it here. So to see if we get if we can get more details about that transaction that we just web made on the web using the SDK. 
and this is basically what it's saying tendered amount so it was 12.99 12.99 so it's now in cents and this is what was used the currency by default and the status is status is two still don't know what the status is two and it shouldn't be two because here it's saying it's five because this didn't go through suppose it just returns two maybe it's because it's a test i don't know yeah but um so that's how you do it using a widget and uh or what you can do and they give you more information here so the status is a number and it means if it's okay if it's five i probably said this before so we go next so the next one is the zapper code so it just renders a qr code and this qr code isn't it's it does it's not responding to anything yeah so basically on this section on your web if you uh, interchange if you're using the api and the sdk interchangeably this is where for an example you would close the sdk Ugh, sorry not the sdk this is where you would close the invoice so that is how you integrate zeppa in your website in terms of refunds we didn't do refunds but um again it's it's the, it's the same scenario here so basically you pass the things they gave to you and uh, you also pass the zeppa id so i suppose you would i mean you would have to store this somewhere just in case you wanted to refund a user or the user wanted to refund uh also on this web hub they also send you back the zeppa id which is awesome so you have that access to in that information to make this request to uh to refund someone so these are the transactions that we made that we failed and stuff awesome okay i am out